Hey everyone, welcome to this episode of First Play, and today we're going to be checking out Mole Men Must Die. But before we do that, this video is a sponsored video, but not from the game or game creator, but instead from Jump. Jump is an online service that features exclusively independent gaming, and for one low price of $9.99 a month, you can get unlimited access to a plethora of great independent gaming titles. You can sign up now for a free 14-day trial. No credit card is required. You can use pretty much any operating system, Windows, Mac, Linux, or uh, Chrome OS even, and even on Windows and Mac, there's a desktop app as well that can help you out uh, if you don't want to use it in your browser. Uh, I've used both, and both have worked great. I'm using the browser version here for this video. And uh, when you boot it up, you can check out all the different categories like feature and award winning, as well as browse individual types of games, uh, single player platformer, puzzle games, local and online multiplayer being featured, as well as you can favorite games. As you can see, here's some of the ones I've already favorited. And when you find a game that you're interested in, you can check out a little bit more information on it. You can watch a little video, the trailer of it, as well as look at some screenshots and get a bigger description of it. Now, the games do require a little bit of space, of course, uh, but they don't leave big, giant installs on your hard drive at all, which is also really kind of cool. And once you've figured out the game you want to play, you just hit play game and it will start to boot up. I've played this game a tiny bit already, uh, but I, uh, I definitely want to show it off because it seems kind of cool. It's a procedurally kind of generated thing when you're going really for a high score. It's very arcade style, and uh, I definitely like that old school arcade style of uh, game. Uh, each game only takes about 20-30 seconds usually to load. Uh, some games like this one have additional loading, but that's to do with the game, not the, the service itself. Some games take only a second or so in order to actually uh, get into them. Uh, Another cool thing, though, is you can use a controller. I've been using my PlayStation 4 controller uh, to play the service, and I've had no problems by doing it, as long as my wire stays plugged in. I don't have the greatest wire, so sometimes I run into some issues with that. But as long as your controller stays plugged in, uh, you'll be good to go. Xbox or, uh, like I said, PS4 controller is what I use, and it works great. Uh, also, the games, a lot of them, save to the cloud. So you can go to another device and pick up right from wherever you left off. And since it doesn't leave lengthy... Uh, giant file sizes and lengthy downloads don't have to be done. You can pretty much go anywhere that has access to the uh, computer and be able to play and continue your process in all these these great games that are available, and they're adding new games uh, every single month to the service. So that's uh, it's a pretty cool thing overall. Like I said, you can check out the link down in the description if you want to check out some more information. It doesn't take long to sign up at all. That's another cool thing. Like It does not, it does not take long to sign up at all. So I've played this game a little bit, uh, as you can see on the giant bomb is my high score, um, which is, I don't think that great, because I, I die pretty quickly. Uh, every time that you end up gaining experience, uh, if you end up dying, uh, and you've uh, gained some experience, you then uh, get rewarded with some cool stuff that you end up unlocking. There's a lot of procedurally generated games, you get new unlocks, uh, new weaponry that can end up spawning. Uh, like, for example, my default gun is normally a gun that fires straight out, but I kind of have a power right now, or whatever it is. It kind of has this, like, arcing shot, which seems to be doing some pretty good damage to the mole people. Uh, you can see there's a multiplier at the uh, at the top of the screen. Uh, you have some bombs you can also use uh, in order to uh, deal with things. And your, your goal, uh, like I mentioned, is to try to keep these enemies off of you as much as you uh, possibly can. Here I have the machine gun. I got or the Gatling gun I have right now for the extra bit of fire. Uh, there's a health bar on the bomb uh, that will uh, the mole jump onto it, and I guess that starts to lower. I guess what if it gets all the way down, uh, you end up dying, or that's the end of the game. You know, whatever. Uh, I I have not had that happen yet. I I always end up getting killed by these moles uh, way before. <laughs> I end up having that happen, so... Oh god, we're entering the new area. The wild... We're entering the wild tunnel. Oh, we have a homing launcher now. We got homing missiles that we're able to launch out.
I must have had a really good com uh, combo because my high I haven't even passed my high score yet. And uh, I did not make it this far. <laughs> I had a really good combo, the wrong practice, you know. Not really practice, it's just called uh, the game, my uh, controller unplugged midway through, and I was like, yeah, darn controller. So I restarted. But uh, yeah, so there you go. When you end up dying, uh, you get some rewards and such, and then we get to drop back in. No real lengthy uh, storyline or anything like that. The moles have shown up, the, the bombs getting dropped uh, in order to take out the mole people. Uh, and your goal is to follow the missile down, take out the mole people, and, uh, and save humanity uh, by doing so, because these moles are, are, are very evil. Your evil moles. Dang it. And that's like pretty much the biggest death trap for me in this game is falling down into the pits, falling past the bob. Uh, that is the, the, the way I die the absolute uh, most. In, this, in my couple of, of runs, this is like my fifth run now, I think, maybe fifth or sixth run. I've, I've attempted to make it too far. Hopefully, we make it a little bit farther. This time. Now we gotta, because um, you only get three of the tries uh, to get the stuff for, and then after uh, you die a certain amount, I guess they re that they kind of go through. So we don't have the arcing shot anymore. We now just have the, the straight shot back. This is, this is the default gun that you normally have. Oh, there's a thing in my way. I was gonna try to shoot there's moles on the other side. Oh, we got the homing ones. Same armor. Don't wanna go too far here. I think there's a mole on yeah, there's dang moles on them. Oh wow, I'm, that was interesting. It's like stasis going on here. Freeze them all for a, a little bit of time. Ain't all that experience. Level three currently. Ah, oh, see, you mess up just that little bit, and you end up falling, falling down. My only issue with the game, really, is that uh, I can't defaultly. I'm sure I can rearrange controls, I guess, and all. Uh, I could do some things to make it work. But defaultly, it only has joystick support, uh, not D-pad support. Uh, and for a lot of 2D action games, I definitely prefer D-pad uh, over, over analog, over using the joystick. It's always felt more natural to use the D-pad on classic games, but that's a personal preference. I just wanted to try to beat my score ones. I had that like amazing score that I didn't even mean to get. Like completely not trying. I get that high score. Now I'm actually like kind of trying. Give me that armor. More machine guns! Oh God, we got that stasis going on now again. All the moles are frozen! They've been frozen! Yes, I'm staying with the bomb as much as I can. Oh god, we gotta actually just straight up rocket launcher now. Pure freaking chaos is gonna happen here. There's a lot of moles on this bomb! Get him off the bomb! Got the homing launcher. Get off there. There we go. We're about to enter in. Boom! 
We are now entering the Flux system headquarters. Gotta be careful not to fall down too far here. Deuces. All the moles are frozen. Oh, they ended up killing me. I was close to my my score. Enemy spawn board locked. There we go. Flames never burn out. We heart jump. Don't we all? Don't we all heart jump? Here we go. So like you try to like do the combos with them, get them in like one one pile, and you're able to really dish out the death to the moles. Almost to level four. Almost gotten to level four here. There we go. Three shot is unlocked. Almost died there. I thought I was actually gonna be in there. Once again, it completely recommends a controller, in case you didn't know. In case you weren't sure. Oh no. Okay, so there is a double jump. I, I didn't even know there was a double jump. There was no, uh, you know, not that it needed it. I mean, it's a pretty simple game to kind of get. But there was, like, no tutorial, really, other than that basic control at the start. But there is a double jump. So that's nice. I didn't even know there was. So that can that can help with some platforming. I just assume there wasn't a double jump. We will use that double jump as the best of our ability going forward here. Give me that armor. to the left here. Let's moles die. Dang it. It's so easy to fall. It's so easy to fall here. Right now I got jumped twice as high or whatever. Okay, let's try to see if we're able to best best my score here. Come on, 118 Thousand, we can we can totally beat that. We we can totally do it. Now, unfortunately, I had a couple failed runs, so now we have mega giant moles that we have to deal with as well as everything else that's kind of going on here. It's a little bit easier though to tell if they're attacking because it's, it's a little bit difficult uh, to tell like when the enemies are attacking uh, because they kind of just like charge up for a second. Because you're able to kind of just stand in them until you've initiated their their wrath and they start to uh, try to claw you to death. And since it's only like the one hit death, it can be uh, difficult in order to uh, to make sure. Oh gosh. There we go. Armor. Oh, I got homing missiles. Homing missiles. Here we go. Giant mole or not giant mole. You're not surviving giant missiles of death that are coming your way, moles, as much as you want to. There's a lot of chaos going on. I can't even tell where my character is or what is going on. There is just a ton of death and destruction. I got fire shot now. Holy crap. Now there's even more destruction going on. I'm going to try to kill these moles down here. There we go. We burned them all. Like, that's just vicious. Burning these moles. Got normal gun back.
Rocket launcher. That's always fun. Blowing the crap up of these moles. These moles are blowing up everywhere. Now we're in another area. Now entering Damanka? 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 It's Damanka. Okay, they, they are already destroying uh, my bomb here. Oh crap, I died. Was that like a homing mole? Like, what was, what was that? What was up with that one? But anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up this episode of First Play. I'm not the best at Moleman Must Die. I gotta get better at it. It's actually a really fun little arcade style of game, and you too can be playing Moleman Must Die in just a matter of moments. Check out the link down below to check out Jump. 14-day free trial. No credit card is required. It's very easy to use. I I'm I'm very finicky and picky when it comes to services uh, and signing up for things and interfaces and all, and, and overall, I've had absolutely no issue using Jump, and I very much enjoyed doing so. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.